when people have written you off, trust me, you don't know how far you can go and how much you can achieve. And that was the case of the super eagles of Nigeria against the pharaohs of Egypt. Despite all, um, against all expectations that super eagles will get a maximum point in that game, the super eagles of Nigeria did the job. And of course, everyone is still uh, feeling that you feel right here in the country. The super eagles of Nigeria opened their campaign at the 2021 African Cup of Nations on a winning note. Trust me, it was a sweet, sweet victory. And Mohamed Salah was just a mere steward assisting the center referee, uh, Gazama from uh, Gambia. So today on the show, I welcome you. My name is Olafemi Ashaolu to another wonderful edition of Niger Super Fans Forum. I have in the studio Kado Gundare. <laughs> we had a lot of uh, predictions in the last, uh, last episode. And I have James Agberebi also in the studio. James is returning from a niggling groin injury. Uh, today we'll be looking at that encounter together. James. How did you feel in that encounter? Well, um, you know, going into the game, I must confess, I never gave the Super Eagles a chance. I felt a draw would have been mm -hmm. a good result. <laughs> you know, fully aware that the Egyptian uh, who parade uh, the best, hmm. you know, the, one yeah. of the best players in the world in uh, Mohamed Salah, but yeah. I was surprised with the kind of performance the Super Eagles you know, put out. You know, we've been clamoring for this. We know the kind of super goose we have. We know our players. These are guys that you don't don't restrict them. They are mm -hmm. ready to go all out. Mm -hmm. For example, somebody like um, Mr. Simon. We also during the reign of uh, Gennot Raw. He was so much restricted that going forward, I see there was no confidence in him. But what we saw against Egypt, he tormented the guy. Or that played the right football. Jim, 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 off, guy, off guy, your mic, off your mic. We, we, we'll, still be, we'll, still be, we'll still be coming to, to, yeah. to, no, to, to, to talk about the game. So off your mic for now. <laughs> Kado Gundari, you. you said the best game was a draw. You said Egypt played in, in Arab World, uh, and Arab Cup, and man. Yes, I said Because so. of you, most Nigerians couldn't sleep. Oh, my <laughs> dear. Uh, okay, uh, let me start by saying congratulations to every Nigerian out there. Yeah. It was a game that, was, that turned on the head. Probably not many people expected the outcome. Yeah. Or actually, those who said they were going to win, like I challenged them, they were just saying so based on faith, not on any logical explanation. Because going by what we saw on the ground, even though there was little time for preparation for everybody at the economy, there's some say had the luxury of adding a quality. Uh, uh, preparation like the Egyptians had the Arab nations who went to the Arab Cup. Mm -hmm. Nigerians, we didn't have that. Like I told you, we were going to start our preparation at, at the, the tournament. Mm -hmm. So, yesterday's game was our first tra training material, so to speak, even though we had three minutes <laughs> to, go, to go with it. They haven't said that. I haven't said that. I think I'm, I'm not going to take anything. There, there, there are a thousand and one reasons why Egypt lost. A thousand and Two reasons why, why we have, won. Why we won. Now, I'm not going to take anything away from the victory. It was one that was well deserved, and I said kudos to everybody who was involved. Somebody was uh, talking to me, and he said, uh, "Not only you know uh, the, the, the the supernatural ones can turn water to wine. That Augustine Gavon literally turned uh, water to wine uh, yesterday. And of course, Nigeria, like I said, are still basking in that inferior of that uh, sweet, sweet victory against the pharaohs of Egypt. And out there, Nigeria fans went to the street." To, you know, to measure the feeling of Nigerians on the street, and this is what they said. What we see yesterday gives us a little hope that Nigeria can win the Nations Cup. And we even know we love the way our coach selects the team. It gives us more morale and determination to say that yeah, definitely Nigeria will go far and win this cup. Based on what I saw yesterday, if they can continue, as in they lose the ball, they follow up. They mark, and whoever, what they did yesterday, they didn't allow Salah to move. If they can pick point, that very point man, and hold him down, move the ball in between the midfield, make accurate passes. They lost a lot of chances yesterday. We'd have gotten like three, four, five goals. What I saw yesterday, if they can continue in that way, do you know every game has it, its own spirit? Uh, but if they can go... They can go into the game as they went yesterday. I know Nigeria will go far. They didn't work a couple with the way they were playing last matches. There was improvement in the attack. There was a zeal. I saw zeal. I saw fighting spirit, which they have not been seeing for the past matches. All the boys played well. Uh, the boy that uh, uh, Simon, he did well. 
Ihen actually did well. Most of them played well with their, with their heart. The way they played yesterday, if they continue like that, I believe they can go to the final or may win the cup. In fact, they really impressed me to what I don't, I, I don't even expect what they played yesterday. In fact, they play compact and they, they play as a team. And they don't allow even they, they don't allow even Salah to play his games. So they don't even give him breaking space to play. They really impressed me very much. If, if they can work as a team and they don't play selfishness, they can move to the final. Okay, welcome back, and it's still Nigeria Super Fans for uh, Kaldi, let me start with you. Okay. Like you said before, um, before we, we, we wrote that tape, of course, you, you, you heard what Nigerians are saying. Everyone is still, you know, basking yeah, in, yeah. That, in that euphoria. Now, how did you get that done? How did Iguavan pull that off? We didn't see that coming. The, the team that uh, Genotro successfully, in quote now, made bad. We have not made them look like world champions. Uh, well, let me start by saying it's still early days yet. One match does not make or mark the career of uh, Eguavon. But having said that, I think you owe me an apology for me. On this program, <laughs> on this program I said Eguavon was talking sense and that he seems to be eating all the right tunes. And for me, that shows that he's talking about like somebody who actually knows what he's about. Mm. And I remember you saying I was doing free PR. <laughs> <that day. laughs> and now that he has. I actually walked the talk. Mm. I think you should be gracious enough to tell me. But you also yourself. praise Egypt to the skies for, no, for, no, no, for playing in the Arab no, Cup. We're going to get to that. Okay. Um, having said that, I think what we saw in that game against Egypt was uh, the things I feared the most. They actually they actually did the need they needed. First I was I was scared of our mental strength, our mental fortitude. Mm. Are we going to be able to mentally withstand whatever the Egyptians throw at us? One, I was also thinking about do, do, do we have the self-discipline to have a plan and stick to that plan mm. regardless of what happened. That, that, that was second. Then the third one was management, game management. It's easy for us to score. It is what happens after we score that is very, very crucial. Yeah. And you saw it at some various times, even as, as poor as the Egyptians were, they nearly got a goal. Yeah, they, they, so yeah, yeah. That man, uh, that game management, those three factors that I was very, very afraid of. Yeah. And the Eagles came out successfully in all three. So for me, like I said, we can, we can debate or argue why we won or why the Egyptians lost, but those three factors are going to be key for me. That there was a plan, everybody stuck to the plan. And there it was, was well executed. They did, not allow, they did not crack under pressure. Hmm. They managed the game very, very well. So for me, it was A1 all through. Uh, James, though, I don't really want to take this serious, seriously. I, I had wanted to ask Ali, but I'll, I'll, be, I'll be throwing it at you. Someone said Nigeria played against uh, Naya Lali players and one Liverpool player. Do you agree with that? <laughs> We've always known the Egyptians <laughs> to always be loaded with players from the from the local the, league, the, yeah. The Zamalek and the Al Ali. Al -Ali. Even when they dominated uh, Africa for three straight When they won three straight three consecutive summer, editions. Summer, it, it was mainly yeah. the, so uh, their lineup yesterday wasn't a surprise. We only watched how they were going to set up with um, El Neni, Trezegui and uh, Mohamed Salah. Salah. The, you know, if, you know, um, I think another guy again from uh, outside uh, Egypt. So for me, the lineup wasn't a surprise. And uh, just like what uh, Kyle just said, um, the Super Eagles, I felt at some point they might crack. Because you know, the, the North Africans, you just have to be on the yeah. descent. Concentration for the 90 minutes. You know, and kudos to the Super Eagles, they made sure they blocked every supply line to Salah, they did everything to the, to the letter. So mm. kudos to them. And um, let's see what they're, they're going to give us in the next game come uh, Saturday. Okay, uh, Kaudi, you said something. You said um, Ugravon should ensure that the team played to their strengths. You said so, and uh, I, I really held that. And it, it seems it worked very well. We had a 4-4-2 mm -hmm. formation yesterday, and um, Awoni and Yenacho, they actually kept the Egyptian defenders back. I think it will be it will be it will actually be wrong to say we, we played a strictly four four, four two. two for there there were mutations in the game. There were times when we played the four four two. There were and times that the, the, the formation the changed. Four three uh, three. There were times when we actually played the four two four, depending on whether we're in the situation. Yeah, yeah. And like you have said before the game, 
he said we are going to to play to the offensive strength of our team. And because, like I keep telling anybody, regardless of what has happened in the immediate past, Nigerians are one of the most offensive-minded teams in Africa. Hmm. If, we, if, we, if we now have players like that and we refuse to play to their strength, going by our pedigree, yeah, we are shooting ourselves in the field. So if you are able to score, fine. They didn't score as many goals as I thought they were going to score. Even when the Egyptians were on the rope, I thought they were going to get a couple more goals, and we should actually have gotten those goals. Because when the the the, more, the psychological thing about getting those goals is it puts fear in your next opponent. Like if you are if you are able to beat Egypt 3-0, the uh, uh, Sudan will be quaking in the abyss that only God knows how many we are going to score against them. So for me, the formation was not static. It wasn't a template, like I said. Yeah, the yeah. They were, they were movements. It was dynamic, yeah. It was dynamic. They were movements. You saw, you saw uh, uh, Moses on this side played excellently well. And when we, we brought out, uh, what's his name? Uh, Chukwe. 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 We brought him a, an educator at urgency to the attack. See, the, the, the baseline of our performance against the deep was the pace and urgency that we infused in our team. Unlike in the immediate past when we see our team build up gradually, and by the time you build up momentum, mm. the opposition are already on you, they collect the ball from you, and they do damage. Mm. So that's exactly what the, the difference, the major difference between this Eguavan team that we saw, I'm waiting mm. to see them in their next game, that we saw against Egypt on Tuesday, and the immediate past, there was urgency, there was game management, there was mental strength. Hmm. Uh, James, our major nightmare before the game was uh, our defence and uh, we saw Ekong and um, Omeru uh, in the centre back. How impressed were you, Olaino and uh, Zaidu? Uh, yeah, so for me, say. I think I was impressed with the, the full backs. Mm -hmm. The, the central guys, they did well, uh, Ekong and uh, Omeru, but you know, because of their... <laughs> you know, <laughs> you, you understand, because of the, they always... Uh, quick to lose concentration, mm. and, uh, so that was just my fear. But we still saw some lapses mm. here and there, from especially Ekong. You know, but he made a very uh, timely intervention from when the, the dangerous cross was, you know. So, but um, let's see how the tournament progresses. At least we, we won yesterday, thanks to the offensive power of the, of the Super Eagles. Mm -hmm. I think he kind of uh, relieved uh, the defense line. But see those, the, the right back and the left back, um, Sidu and uh, Olaina, I think they, they, did, they, 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 they tormented the yeah, <laughs> Egyptians yeah. non stop. So um, I, I, I believe as the competition uh, goes, uh, they will be able to build on their on the confidence yeah. against uh, Egypt. So that find they're not going to play against a very, uh, uh, very good uh, mm. Sudanese side. No disrespect to them, but I believe as this commission goes on, we'll see the best of them. Okay, let's quickly go on a break now. We'll be back to talk about um, a, a little worry that we now have in the defense. Omero and uh, Chigu, uh, Chigu uh they might uh, be carrying a uh, no, Of course, also we'll be talking about um, a remark by Augustin Gouverneur regarding Sede Kumar. Uh, in that game, of, of course, we look at the performance of Tai Wawoni, the combination he had with Kelechi Yan at your front. We'll be back. Please stay with us. Yeah, welcome back. It's still Nigerian Super Fans for Of course, we are still doing a review of the that sweet victory of Super Eagles over the Pharaohs of Egypt. Akaude, we had um, Kenneth Omero was, was stretched off yesterday. And um, after the game, news came in that even Chigo Zawazian was, was actually carrying a knock. That was why he didn't play any part in that game. So let's look forward to, now not talking about the Sudanese now, but let's look at the impact we do not have. I remember you, you talked about um, the fact that Guavon should have called Kevin Akokoma. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Now it seems we might be out of um, options in the centre back. Yeah, yeah unfortunately we have. But the situation as at hand now is that we are at the war front already. We cannot call for enforcement, so we have to make do with whatever <laughs> well, we, are. we are. Now, Semi Ajayi is somebody I so much admire. His height, his composure on the ball, and everything. So he is going to be a perfect replacement. And Said Sanusi could also play in central defense. So mm. that will open the left flank for uh, Jamie Collins. And even Olai now is. is more is multi talented, he can't also play in central defense, you know. So, even though they're going to be makeshift, but but, but the Collins hasn't played since like mid December, yeah. He hasn't played, he hasn't, played and even he, you know, he, he joined in Garua, so yeah. I, I don't think he's had up to two two trainings, two but training sessions. I agree with you, but now if we have to, we have to, <laughs> we have to just make do whatever we have, yeah. If we have to, then we have to. 
So if we have to call him up, we have to bet. I hope he doesn't get to that panic uh, station that mm. we have to call people at all costs. Mm. But if we have to, I think we're covered actually. Mm. Saidu can maintain his place. Uh, Semi Ajayi would fit in perfectly. In case of injury, however, if there's a need to bring somebody, Saidu or Lino can slot into the mid, into the mid, uh, central, central defense, and Jamilu can come in. Okay, I, I, I believe. Okay, uh, James, let's look at the forward line now. Yes, a lot of people clam out for. Awoni and Yanacho. We actually saw that because Dukudi was actually, before the game, he said it would be nice to see a book combination. And they, they didn't do pretty bad, badly. Just look at Awoni. He did well. He had a, a goal that could have not counted. Expect that when that effort struck the bar. Now, but let's look at um, Sadiq Umar. He came in and uh, the coach wasn't really happy about him. And uh, <laughs> Gabon said he was going to talk to him later. Then today, news came in that uh, he said he explained to the uh, to the crew that I was a bit frightened. Should you, as a professional, be frightened, you know, playing against it, bit? not Brazil, not Argentina, not even uh, the Italians? Um, Umar, the last time Umar was in the Super and the national team color was uh, 2016 in Euro, uh, Rio Olympics. Mm -hmm. The game he played against Egypt was his first ever game with the Super Eagles. So I understand if he, there was a kind of a stage fright for him. You know, for somebody that was thrown into the tick of action, you know, so you can't blame him. He's a young player, he's still coming up. He was not the only person that was that made his debut for the Super Eagles. Uh, yeah, I was, was going to say that. Even I, even I only the, the, the only time I I only I only have played for the team. Before. Yeah, but 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 just just yeah, once, so right? He had the feel of the team. But Umar, you know, you are playing against Egypt. Where you have Salah, you have you know, so. He, when he, when you are playing against defenders. Come on, man! You are no, playing. You are no, playing against defenders no, who are not even. You have to cut him some slack. You have to cut him some slack. Because I would understand if he said he was kind of frightened because uh, you are playing for the first time. You know the expectations of Nigerian. You've been doing well for Almeria, so they expected to come with that form. And any, you know, Nigeria, we can slaughter you <laughs> if you well, don't. Well, do well, well, maybe you know, so maybe maybe frightened may not may not be the right word for him to. Maybe a stage fright. May, yeah, maybe yeah, frightened. Fright. Maybe not be the right way. I, I understand. Even established internationals bringing them in, in such a high octane game exactly. at that particular point in time. That was like ten minutes to the end of the game. Uh, I think you came in in the seventy second minute. So for me, I can understand if it was ten stop. Maybe ten stop was a better word. I, I was expecting maybe it would have just feel relaxed. We already there one goal no, ahead. No one goal. I know we, we were under pressure up to, actually up to the last minute of play. Femi, I was on go. And I was not in, on the pitch. So for me, I would understand if it was 10 stop. Maybe frightening was not the right word. But I, I perfectly understand. And I'm very sure the coaching crew will also understand. Let's not blow this out of proportion. <laughs> if a young man gets his chance again, mm. I am very sure he's going to take it with both hands. Yeah, mm. And it's important for the team. Once, if they can defeat Sudan, I believe the game against uh, Guinea-Bissau. It will become a formal team. You know, so you now have the opportunity to, to play to play anybody who wants The French team. players. Yes. Uh, the um, Umar and all those guys. So that the, the that's team. that's why the next game is very very important. So that the last match of the group, you can use it to test any player you want to exactly. you want to test. Hmm. Okay, so it is left for Augustine Gabani to to decide. Uh, well, what the coaching crew will do as as far as um, Sadiq Umar uh, is concerned, because he said they were. I mean, I'm I'm sure the coaching crew they were going to uh, talk to him. Gentlemen, thanks once again for coming through on the show. Thank you very much. So, it's a I, of course, again, we need your 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 your, your good love wishes. You know, in our game against uh, against uh, Sudan. Okay, this all will be uh, drawing the curtain on the show today. Very shortly, we'll be bringing you the review of uh, the Super Eagles game against Sudan. I think that should be an easy game for us. Well, there are no minors in football anymore, but I think for us it should be it shouldn't be as difficult as um, the game uh, against I against want, Egypt. I don't want you to be confident. <laughs> To okay, but perhaps maybe I'm saying the minds of uh, of many Nigerians. Okay, until we come your way again, I remain Oluwafemi Ashalu. Bye for now.